Hello, space fans. We have arrived at Venus. Venus is a terrestrial planet and is sometimes called Earth's sister planet because of their similar size, mass, and proximity to the Sun. It is radically different from Earth in other respects. It has the densest atmosphere of all the four terrestrial planets, consisting of more than 96 carbon dioxide. The atmospheric pressure at the planet's surface is 92 times that of Earth. Venus is by far the hottest planet in the solar system, with a mean surface temperature of 462 degrees Celsius. Venus, the second planet from the Sun, is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty, and is the only planet named after a female. In ancient times, Venus was often thought to be two different stars, one that appeared at sunset, and then one that appeared at sunrise. In Latin, they were respectively known as Vesper and Lucifer. In Christian times, Lucifer, or Light Bringer, became known as the name of Satan before his fall. In Chinese, the planet is called Ji Xing, the golden planet of the metal element. It is known as Etjora in Indonesian and Malay. Modern Chinese, Japanese, and Korean cultures refer to the planet literally as the metal star, based on the five elements. Even though Venus is similar in size to Earth and has a similarly sized iron core, Venus's magnetic field is much weaker than Earth due to Venus's slow rotation. Venus was once believed to be very similar to Earth and may have harbored possible life. Then it went into a runaway greenhouse effect. Venus's atmosphere consists mainly of carbon dioxide with clouds of sulfuric acid droplets. The thick atmosphere traps the sun's heat, resulting in surface temperatures higher than 880 degrees Fahrenheit. The atmosphere has many layers with different temperatures. At the level where the clouds are, about 30 miles up from the surface, it is about the same temperature as on the surface of the Earth. As Venus moves forward in its solar orbit, while slowly rotating backwards on its axis, the top level of clouds zips around the planets around every four Earth days, driven by hurricane force winds traveling about at 224 miles per hour. In August of 1978, the Pioneer Venus Multiprobe spacecraft launched to study Venus. The Multiprobe was composed of five components, the main spacecraft, the large probe, and three identical small probes named North, Day, and Night. Carrying seven experiments and fitted with a parachute to slow its descent into the atmosphere, the large probe studied the composition of Venus's atmosphere and clouds. In addition, the large probe measured the distribution of infrared and solar radiation. The three small probes were designed without parachutes, each carrying six experiments. Each probe targeted different parts of Venus. North entered Venus at a high northern latitude. Night targeted the night side and mid-southern latitudes. And day targeted the day side and mid-southern latitudes. The main spacecraft carried an additional two experiments designed to study Venus's upper atmosphere. The five probes collected detailed information about atmospheric composition, circulation, and energy balance. The large probe separated from the main spacecraft 123 days after launch on November 16th followed by the small probes on November 20th. It reached Venus's atmosphere on December 9th. While not expected to survive their fiery descent in the dense Venusian atmosphere, all four of the probes transmitted data down to the surface with the day probe transmitting from the surface for an over an hour. In the next 14 years, among other observations, it mapped out approximately 90% of Venus at a resolution of 10 kilometers. NASA planned another mission called the Venus Radar Mapper, later renamed Magellan. Magellan had the capacity to map the planet down to a resolution of 120 meters using SAR. Magellan's pre-launch goal was to map up to 70% of the planet during a 243-day imaging period, equivalent to one Venusian day. The Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California managed this mission. 
Magellan became the first planetary probe launched by the space shuttle when it blasted off from NASA's Kennedy Space Center inside the Atlantis cargo bay on May 4, 1989. After several mid-course corrections, Magellan settled into a near-polar orbit around Venus on August 10, 1990. On September 15, Magellan began returning high-resolution radar images of Venus's surface, showing evidence of volcanism, tectonic movement, lava channels, and pancake-shaped domes. During the 243-day mapping cycle that ended on May 15, 1991, Magellan mapped 84% of the planet's surface with amazing resolution, exceeding its pre-mission objective. The spacecraft remained healthy, and NASA extended its mission to conduct five additional 243-day imaging cycles that would increase the area of the planet mapped to 98%. In addition to radar imaging, Magellan also made precise measurements of Venus's gravity field using the planet's atmosphere to circularize its orbit in the first test of the aerobraking technique. During its final cycle, Magellan studied Venus's upper atmosphere. On October 13, 1994, after a series of controlled engine firings lowered its orbit, Magellan entered Venus's atmosphere and burned up. Magellan was a highly successful mission completing more than 15,000 orbits of the cloud-shrouded planet. There's still so much we do not know about Venus. Just recently in September 2020, astronomers spotted in Venus's clouds the chemical signature of phosphine, a noxious gas that on Earth is only associated with life. Based on the many scenarios the astronomers considered, the team concluded that there's no other explanation for the phosphine detected in Venus's clouds other than the presence of life. Life is definitely a possibility, but more proof is needed. So mark Venus as a great place to study in the future. Every time we come together, we learn something amazing. Venus continues to simply wow us, shining bright at night and surprising us with each new scientific study. I wonder what we will know 10 years from now about our brightest planet. Until we meet again, be curious, be creative, and always look up.